Hi guys, uh, this is the third video from Algebraic Expressions and this is the last video because on Monday we're starting a new section. Alright, this video is really important because we do a concept that you haven't done in grade 8. If you're looking for the memo of this um, exercise that I gave you in the last video, it's on Google Classroom. If you're not from Edenvale High and you're watching these videos, then please pop me a message in the comment section if you'd like um, the, the memo. Cool. All right, so you don't need to write down anything yet. Today we're working with multiplying binomials. So basically we're working with what happens if there's two brackets next to each other. Okay, so like the example that's on the screen. Um, I know I've got two brackets next to each other, which means that there's a multiplication sign there. So I'm multiplying this bracket with this bracket. Okay, so if you need to multiply these two brackets, you need to use a concept called FOIL. So FOIL is just, um, just a word that we, like a... Thing that we use to um, see what we need to multiply first, and second and third, etc. Okay, so write down the date, which is the 3rd of April, and the heading, which is FOIL, and you can write down the example. Cool, so according to FOIL, I need to do my first terms first, so I need to multiply x times x. So there's my first two terms. Please draw in the arrow um, because it just helps you to remember which terms you've multiplied and which ones you haven't multiplied yet because eventually we're going to multiply them all together. Okay, so x times x will give me x squared. Then I'm going to do my outer terms, so x times negative 2, which will give me negative 2x. Then the two inside terms, so 3 times x is 3x. And then the last two terms, so, so the last two terms of each bracket, so 3 times negative 2 will give me negative 6. Once I've done that, I know I never ever leave it like unsimplified, so I need to do my like terms. So negative 2x plus 3x, that will give me x. Okay, so we're going to do some examples of these, um, but just make sure that you're drawing in the arrows for each example. Okay, please write down example 1, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so uh, according to FOIL, I need to do my first terms first. So I'm going to do x times x, that will give me x squared. Then my outer two terms, so x times 3, that will give me 3x. My inside terms, negative 5 times x. And then the last two terms, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Simplify my like terms, and that's what I've got. All right, try number 2 by yourself. Okay, so I'm going to start with my first two terms. x times x, that will give me x squared. x times 2 will give me 2x. The inners, 6 times x is 6x, and then the last two terms will give me 12. Um, just remember that you're multiplying, so you're not adding anything, it's all multiplication. Only when you do your like terms, then you would obviously add, so 2x plus 6x will give me 8x. Try number 3 again by yourself, don't go on to number 4 yet. Alright, so number 3 again, I'm going to do firsts and then outers, so if I do that, you should have got something that looks like this. Then I'm going to do the inside terms. So 4 times negative 3x and 4 times negative 3. And that's what I will get. And then I simplify my like terms. So negative 6 minus 12. That will give me minus 18. Okay, the last one, please write it down and then highlight it. Okay, so this is, um, this is still FOIL. Okay, but a lot of people, what they think is that it's just like distributing the exponents. So they want to just go, oh, that's easy, um, x squared, 2 squared. But you can't do that because there's two terms in the bracket. So you can only do that when there's um, only one term in the bracket. So, so don't try and just distribute that exponent. Rather, just realize, okay, the whole thing is being squared. That means I can actually just write it out as two brackets. Once you've written it out as, as two brackets, <laughs> then you can FOIL it out. So first, in as, first out is in its lasts. And if you do that, that's what you're going to get once you've simplified your like terms. Okay, so it's quite a, it's, it's actually quite a nice concept. Just remember to be drawing your arrows because a lot of the time people get confused when they don't draw the arrows. The last one we're going to do, I would like you to try by yourself. I just want to give you some hints. Um, so the first hint is that there you've got that bracket again that's being squared. So don't try and distribute the exponent. First write it out twice and then FOIL. And then the second hint I want to give you is that um, there's a negative there. So once you've foiled this out, then keep the whole thing in brackets, then distribute the negative to get rid of the brackets. Okay, so try it by yourself, and then you can carry on watching the video. 
Okay, so um, thank you for those of you who actually tried it yourself. <laughs> for the rest of you, this is the answer. Okay, um, so all I've done there is I've written out that highlighted part twice because I know I need to foil that out. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to foil this part first, then I'll foil that part second. Okay, so 2x times 2x gives me 4x squared. 2x times negative 2, that will give me negative 4x. The inners, 4 times 2x will give me 8x, and 4 times negative 2, that will give me negative 8. Okay, then I'll do the same for the second bracket, oh, the first, second few, the second part. Okay, so that part there. So I'm going to foil that whole thing out. I'm going to keep it in brackets with the negative outside the bracket, because I know that my, I still need to distribute that whole negative into every single one of those terms, which I'm going to do. So negative times positive is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. Negative times positive, etc. Okay, so if I do that, you'll see that all your signs change. And from there, you can just get your like terms. So 4x squared minus x squared, that will give me 3x squared, etc. All right. Um, any questions, let me know. Your homework for Monday is this exercise here. Um, only those questions. And then I'll show you what it looks like. This is it here. If you need to pause the video and write them down, then you can. But that's what you've got to do. All right. Good luck. And on Monday, we will start a new section. Please make sure that you understand FOIL because FOIL is used in grade 10 all the way to matric. So, yeah. So if you don't understand, then you're welcome to pop me a mail or any of your teachers. Okay. Good luck, guys. See you on Monday. Well, speak to you on Monday.